Hello everyone. We will understand in this uh, session today, in this demo session, we will understand one of the mechanism we call this is the waves or wave management in the extended warehouse management. And here I will explain you why wave came into the picture, why we require the waves. Okay. Suppose here I have demonstrated and I will explain you. Suppose, suppose uh, friends, we have the multiple customers, one, two, three, four, it's fine. But when we talk about the complex warehouse business process and in that business process, suppose we have the multiple customers, okay, and we need to send the outbound delivery we need to send the products to them okay in that situation suppose we have the here i give the example suppose we have the customer customer one customer two customer three customer four customer five customer six till customer 20 customers we have okay we have five kind of different materials in the warehouse in the hierarchy storage type okay so if we have the 20 different customers and uh, we have the five kind of just an example or we have the 10 kinds of different the type could be different customer could be different but here i'm uh, picking from the small quantity to give you the example in this demo class so we have the 20 customers or clients we need to sell five kind of different materials suppose material one material two material three material four material five material or material six this this six kind of different materials we need to send to all the 20 customers okay so in the warehouse we create the sales order okay so based on the sales order, the warehouse workers, what they do, they pick the quantity. If we have the hierarchy storage type, they go, they pick the material. Okay, suppose we have the one, two, three, four, five till 20 customers. We have the material, material one, material two, material three, material four, material five. Okay, example I will give you. Why, why wave concepts came into the picture? And end of this class, I will explain you about the why we have the programs, why we have the reports in SAP Advanced Business Application Programming. In the SAP ABAP, okay, I will explain you what, what is the benefits. This is another uh, part, but first I will cover the wave. Try to understand the business. So we have the 20 different customer, five kind of different materials. Okay. These kind of five different materials we need to send to 20 customers. Okay. Let's pick the customer one. So suppose customer one requires all these five materials, material one, material two, material three, material four, material five. Customer one is the customer one. The name of the customer is customer one example. And as we know, when we are going to send the product products to the customers, we send through the outbound delivery. Outbound delivery. Okay. Outbound means something is going out from our warehouse. Okay. So based on the sales order, we create the outbound delivery. Okay. So what the warehouse worker they do? So customer one, suppose we have the N number customer, but Example, I'm going to start with the customer one. So customer one, what they are going to do, they are going to pick this five quantity of the material, uh, five materials and different, different quantity. Okay, suppose customer one, they require material one, 500 quantity. Customer one, they require material two, we have the five materials. Customer one, five materials, different quantities. Okay, so customer one, material one, okay material 2 material 3 material 4 material 5 customer 1 they require 
material 1 500 quantity customer 1 they require material 2 100 quantity customer 1 they require material 3 10 quantity customer 1 they require material 4 uh, 1000 quantity customer 1 they require material fifth which is the five quantity we will count all the quantity thousand five ten fifty and we will total will come into the picture how this business happen in the complex warehouse processes and why wave came into the pictures okay like in my classes i always explain why function module came into the picture why baby came into the picture why bdc came into the picture Either we have the LSMW standard tool, but why Baddy came into the picture? What is the session method? What is the call transactions? Okay, so we will understand this. Then we will go back, uh, jump to the another topic. So customer one, material one, material two, material three, material four, material five. Material one, he requires the customer one, he requires 500 quantity, 100 quantity, 200 quantity, 300 quantity. Okay. So when the warehouse workers, they are going to pick and suppose these materials, material 1, material 2, material 3, material 4, material 5, it's not located in the same storage type. Suppose material 1 is located in the high storage type 0, 1. Material 5th is located, uh, material, I will start from you. Material 1 is located in high storage type 0, 1. Material 2 is located at high storage type uh, 0, 2. Material 3 is located at high rack storage type 0, 3. Material 4 is located in the high rack storage type 0, 5 or 4. Material 5th is located at high rack storage type 0, 1. Just assume that. It's not mandatory if you are going to pick something to send to the customer the same material in located at the same location. For an example, I'm the customer. I want to buy the, for an example, um, power bank try to understand the business uh, mobile phone pen drive and uh, one fan just an example so different kind of materials we are going order online okay but the materials are different okay but the customer is same okay so in the warehouse they pick the material from the different storage type section and bins okay so suppose this is I'm talking about the customer one he requires five different materials 100 quantity 500 quantity different quantity but these materials are located in the different storage types high rack storage type high rack very tall it's like a gallery we call ales okay we count like his ales stack stack levels so first what the warehouse worker he will do or they will do they will go for the customer one to pick material they will go to the hierarchy storage type one they will pick 500 quantity they place into the goods issue zone which is we call staging area which is the temporary storage type temporary storage section and temporary storage bin this is the outbound area near to the gate near to the outbound gate of the warehouse building inside the building then the warehouse worker what they will do first they will go they pick 500 quantity this is for customer one and we have the n number of customer we have the hundreds of auto one delivery then see how it complex and how we make them easier through the wave concept is the wave management in the extended warehouse management so customer one they require different five, five kind of materials each material has different quantities all materials are not located in the one storage type high rack storage type they located in the different storage types storage section storage bin so the warehouse workers for first what they will do we go they go sorry they go they pick the 500 quantity material one they bring into the gi zone okay again they will go they will pick the material okay they will bring into the gi zone okay again they will go they will pick the material from the uh, material third which is the 50 or 100 quantity they will put it to the G gi zone 
staging area okay no problem again they will go material 1 material 2 material 3 material 4 material 5 power bank pen drive fan or uh, like pencils or markers or markers okay and then uh, shoes for an example then for third time to send the different kind of five material different quantity to the only customer one they again they will go they pick from the hierarchy storage type which is the different storage type located in a different area they will come back and place the good to the drop the good to the staging area because we stage we stage goods into the goods issue zone that's why we call this as an staging area so if i put something like on like this i stay i already put stage like uh, pens on the my hands so this is the call staging for the fifth material material five again the warehouse worker go they will put, pick material the quantity for an example 700 thousand quantity they will bring and they will put it into the gi zone goods issue zone then the loading will be started and we send the goods to the customer there we will use like a stop sequence concept in the transport management along with the extended warehouse management i will tell you how, how we should manage the product okay then after guys second customer customer two they require same material but the different quantity so again the warehouse worker they need to go they need to pick the same material for the customer two they need to put at the staging area but the materials think materials are same again they are going they need to pick and they need to place to the staging area for the material third for the customer two again they will go they perform the picking activity okay assume we have the 20 customer material uh, for the customer three again they will go customer three also require the same material for an example when we are order something online suppose i order the uh, power bank mobile charging power bank from the online store it doesn't mean only i order then only one of the customer only i order that product at the same time locations wise they or the country wise state wise or the location wise hundreds or n number of customers they give the order to the same products okay so for the material second again they will come back to the hierarchy storage type which is the afs location permanent storage type they pick the material from the permanent storage type they place it to the temporary storage type then for the fifth material again they will go they will pick okay three customers they need to perform these things <coughs> multiple times for the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so again coming back putting coming back putting coming back pu putting it consumes the time it consumes the efforts labor cost a lot of things so that's why wave came into the picture okay grouping all the outbound delivery similar kind of material create we call this is the mechanism called wave so how it works i will explain you so suppose see here this diagram then i will explain you customer one we have the outbound delivery this is the outbound delivery one customer one Customer 1, we have the outbound delivery. This is one outbound delivery. Customer 2, this is our another outbound delivery. Customer 3, because 20 customers, so we have the different 20 deliveries. Okay. So now suppose in the complex warehouse business, we have the 200 different customers. We have the very big, for an example, big business warehouse, complex. We have hundreds of customers, 200 of customers. Okay, they require the material. So each customer, we have the different delivery delivery means in this situation outbound delivery i'm talking about wave management with the grouping together all the outbound deliveries to send to the customers and this is the optimization how we use the wave management in the warehouse management complex warehouse management business so suppose this is my and this is my customer one outbound delivery customer two another outbound delivery customer three another outbound delivery customer four another outbound delivery 
materials are common for all the customer in this example material 1 material 2 material 3 okay customer 2 he requires uh, for an example so customer 1 first i will start with the customer 1 customer 1 he requires material 1 okay 500 quantity for an example okay and the customer 1 the same customer require material 2 100 quantities material 3 customer 1 he requires material 3 like i gave you example same i'm explaining you here so suppose customer 1 material 1 material 2 material 3 material 4 material 5 same customer he requires material 1 different quantity 500 quantity material 2 same customer he require material 2 different quantity same customer customer 1 he requires material 3 different quantity same customer customer 3 oh sorry customer 1 he requires different quantity of the material so material is different quantity is different okay customer 1 he requires different material material mat 5 for an example different quantity so same customer 1 one outbound delivery because this is specific for this customer this delivery material 1 he requires 500 quantity customer 1 he requires material 2 100 quantity customer 3 Oh, sorry customer one he requires material three seven hundred quantity like same customer two another outbound delivery he requires three hundred quantity customer two another outbound delivery like say for the customer two he requires five hundred quantity material is same material three so customer two customer three customer four customer five customer ten customer fifteen customer twenty twenty five for an example they require same material but a different quantity these material are located in the different storage types which is the hierarchy storage type okay so in customer 2 customer 2 different outbound delivery they require 300 quantity material 1 customer 2 they require material 2 500 quantity customer 2 material 3 they require 100 quantity no customer 3 they require a uh, obviously another outbound delivery they require 300 quantity material one customer three they, they require 500 quantity material two customer three he requires or they require material three hundred quantity for all the customers material are same but the quantities are different these materials are located at different storage type sections bins okay now customer four so here you will understand why wave came into the picture the power of the wave management in the complex outbound process in the extended warehouse management 